Hi, it's your mind, your P's and Q's lady. My name is Ali. Today I'm going to talk about abbreviations. Uh, I have realized that apart from myself, there are some other people who are in my league that we don't know uh, most common English abbreviations. Let's start with the first one. RSVP. Where I come from, they say that since it's mostly uh, it mostly appears at the bottom of invitation letters or invitation cards. It simply means that rice and stew very plenty. I don't think that it's true. These are French borrowed one. It simply means what's that one? I think it's Respondez Silvo Play. If you know French, you can of course make this correction. So it simply means if you please kindly reply. Uh, our next abbreviation, which is up common nowadays, we have ASAP. Mm -hmm. This is as soon as possible. ASAP. Let's move to the next set of words. We have IE and we have EG. It has recently come to my knowledge that these two should never be used inter interchangeably. They don't mean the same thing. IE means that is, while EG means example given. Let's start maybe with an example of that is. In a sentence, it would be maybe the three, i.e., John, Peter, and and James should be excluded. So, the three, that is, John, Peter, and James, should be excluded. What about e.g.? This should be example. And for this example, we'll have B. Uh, we could talk about uh, fair, okay, fair, In Kenya, e.g., that is example, we have my very own Kirinyaga, Nairobi, etc. So this is another common abbreviation. It means etc. 